Hi teams, uh, welcome to the ServiceNow Orchestrator demo. Uh, myself Mohit, I'm a part of uh, ServiceNow Export team. To start off with, let's start from ServiceNow. ServiceNow is not just an ITSM tool now. It has different modules. IT service management, which has incident change, problem, uh, CMDB, etc. IT operation management, which has workflows, orchestration, etc. IT business management and system application development. So service now workflow will come under IT operation management. This is an important aspect in terms of service now orchestration. All the information in service now, whether it's an incident or a change or a workflow or a CMDB data or a discovery, everything is stored in a relational database called, which is inside service now. And all the information are stored in tables. It can be a custom table, which you can create a new table, or it can be existing table. Like for incident, there is already an existing table called incident. So whatever uh, the workflows we are creating, the data should come from this table, or the workflow should be triggered from this table. Coming to ServiceNow Orchestrator, you have two different modules inside ServiceNow, a ServiceNow workflow and a ServiceNow Orchestrator. These are customized module or which you need to pay for. ServiceNow workflows, as the name indicate, it automates the multi-step processes within a ServiceNow instance, while an orchestration extends the workflow to interact with system and applications outside the instance. A workflow editor is used to define the workflows. Uh, as obviously, it is a part of IT process automation. Some of the major players uh, competing with ServiceNow orchestrator would be HPO, BMC, AO, System Central Orchestrator or IOHO I share. This is another important aspect of ServiceNow Orchestration Training, a MIT server. A MIT server is a management instrumentation and discovery server which acts as a mediator or jump host between the ServiceNow cloud and your private local network. So consider this as your ServiceNow instance. You have a firewall which blocks all the traffic to your local network. So to run PowerShell command or SFTP or SSH or a SQL command or to run web services inside the applications of your local network, we'll be using a ServiceNow mid server, which acts as a jump host, which will talk to ServiceNow instance, which is in cloud through certain ports. We'll also look through installing a mid server in a Unix or Windows. So this is our ServiceNow instance. Let's navigate to workflow editor. So these are the predefined workflows, which you can see inside the ServiceNow instance. Core will have the activities. So let's open a workflow, auto heal AWS. So by clicking on the plus, you can create new workflows. And core are the predefined activities which are inside the workflow, which you can just drag and drop. So there are a lot of Amazon activities, approval phases, conditions, subflows, tasks. You can even run a JavaScript using this. Everything will conduct, come under core tab. You have certain content packs which the service now provides by itself, like an active directory content pack where you can add user to group or change your ID password, etc. We'll go through each of these content packs during the training. You can also develop your own applications like SOAP web services, PowerShell scripts, REST service, or SSH or JDBC queries against target systems. So let's consider this workflow, auto heal AWS. So the workflow, if you click on workflow properties, you can see which workflow this will be run. So this workflow will be run again the incident table. That means whenever a certain short description with this short description is an incident with this short description is created, it will in turn just trigger this workflow. And this workflow will start the service. So let's try this workflow. So an instant is in stop state here. This is an AWS cloud instance. So basically, whenever I start to create a new incident with this short description mentioned in the workflow properties, 
it should trigger this workflow which in turn should start this cloud instance this is a windows server which is host inside aws cloud so click of submit a new incident is created and this as you can see here the workflow has already started the instance we'll navigate to cloud and it's running so within few seconds a server which was down has been started using the aws auto heal workflow so during the course of this training we will be uh, learning how to create a workflow from basic how to create basic workflows like uh, restarting a service creating an ad user or creating an ad object starting a web service like this we'll be going through each and every core activities what is this meant for and what we can do with this all these activities and content packs we'll be also walking through the rest and soap web services and how to integrate service now using the stencil. Thank you.